Hey guys, welcome to Westwood Music's Repair Shop. I'm Chelsea, and I'm going to be going through how I would touch up a finished crack on a cheaper instrument that you don't necessarily want to make look perfect, uh, but you still have to uh, seal the crack and any kind of fill that you put in it um, so that the integrity of the instrument is, uh, is kept intact uh, years after the repair is done. Alright, when we're typically talking about um, finish touch up with crack repairs, a lot of times um, you'll kind of tape around uh, the edges of the crack, uh, putting tape on either side um, so not to disturb any of the other finish, right? Um, but in instruments like this, I'm not necessarily too worried about uh, the evenness um, of the, the touch up at the end of the job. So, um, I'm going to be using a petroleum jelly, uh, some super glue because this is a poly finish. Um, I used wood filler earlier, some uh, color tone concentrated. Uh, stain. I have a little dish of uh, acetone um, and it's in a container that won't melt. <laughs> and uh, my little paintbrush that I use for just about everything so I know the movement of the bristles. Now what I've already done is um, I've uh, glued up this crack. I've set it. Uh, I have uh, two small little pleats uh, this big inside. Um, and we're just touching it up. So I filled it with the wood filler and uh, with this job because it's so orange I wanted to start with something very neutral so I use a neutral base, uh, not the pine, not the, you can find it in a lot of other colors I just use the neutral for this job. Um, then uh, taking uh, straight from the acetone um, and really I, I don't even open these bottles. Um, I'll just dab it right there on the lid and that's all I ever need for touch up. You can see how much color I get. It's awesome. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, finally go down the crack until I get the color I want. And because this is so orange, um, I did uh, just a straight vintage amber and it turned out great with a couple of coats. Uh, so then, because this is poly again, um, I go through with just a, a little uh, soapy water uh, very quickly and I will wipe it off um, and that will get everything that any pour over of the stain has around the crack. So, here's the fun part. Um, Q-tip, uh, petroleum jelly, and I'm getting way down in there and I want to make sure that I'm not getting any in the crack, but I want to get right up to the edge. And I do this probably for about four inches, three to four inches, um, before I get the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, you can really just start wailing on it. Um, so once uh, this is uh, on there, I'm going to take a uh, Tin super glue, and uh, I use Stumac just because I like it. I like how it sets. I know the timing of it, um, so there's no surprises. Uh, but anything that's thin, and I like these little whip tips. Uh, they help me control uh, where uh, the adhesive's going. So I'm not even touching anything. I'm just putting little drops down. And what's going to happen is uh, the petroleum uh, jelly, uh, of course, does not. Uh, absorb the super glue, um, but the crack will, the fill will. So once that's there, you'll see little droplets on top still. And uh, what I'm going to do, clean the uh, paper towel, and I'm just going to wipe it off about an inch at a time, making sure not to glue myself to um, the paper towel. Um, so make sure you have a little, little bits of paper towel everywhere. So I'm going to just go all the way down. Like I said, four inches at a time is fine. Uh, you're not trying to rush. In fact, you're actually trying to save time, and it will. But if you rush through a job like this, 
uh, you're going to have a lot more cleanup and you might as well have taped it off, drop filled it level, sanded it and buffed it out. And this is kind of just avoiding all of that. And uh, that's it. Very easy cleanup. It's all about uh, wiping it down quickly um, and really getting in there. Now, if you get the petroleum jelly on the crack, you know, you've kind of uh, uh, screwed your uh, opportunity uh, to get some glue in there. So just take a little bit of uh, uh, soapy water and wipe it off, you know. But, um, yeah, it's good for this guitar. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you.